Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create buffers around poly points, lines, and polygons. It's simple, it's straightforward. You click on layer or um, vector, find the geoprocessing tools, and click on buffer. Another way to do this is to go to your processing go to toolbox and then search for buffer and double click on buffer if you have a situation where your point is showing you degrees for the distance then check the description of this video as there is a video on how to reproject your layer from one coordinate reference system to the other and your case is sold so here I have mine in meters. So let's go with 10 meters or so 100 meters projection. We click on the dissolve results. The dissolve results feature helps mix it that the buffered layers melt into each other rather than circle around each other. Then open output file layers. Yes. Instead of creating a temporary file, you can save this to file. So click on the drop down, save to a file, enter your preferred name, and OK. And when you're done, you run. Close. As you can see, the buffer layer is above the original layer if you go to layer styling you can change the color of the buffer you can adjust the transparency you can now see the original layer inside so it's same thing for lines and polygons you can hit change the symbology you can play with it as much as you want now for your multi-string layer, for multi-string layer, um, you go back to your geoprocessing tools, processing toolbox, and then, okay, yeah, buffer, you see multi-ring buffer, let's select points again. You enter the number of rings. Probably you want to create buffer zones for 10 meters or 100 meters, 200 meters. Let's select it at three rings. And then distance between rings, let's say 100 meters. So you select the, la the layer call it multi okay open output file yes and then run you close On your layer styling panel you can also adjust the features or you use the property feature right click properties Go down to symbology. Instead of single symbol, change it to categorized. And then categorize it by the value with set as distance. Yes, then click on classify so it classifies the layers by different distance by the distance and then assigns new colors to it and then you can click on apply so you can always adjust these colors to fit what you want probably you use a single color that fits down or something like that you can assign the label, labels to it 
here is set as no labels click on it and select single labels for the value set the value to distance Set value to distance and in the placements, let's set the position to um, free or the horizontal, any of them. And then allow placing polygons. No, we don't want that. We can apply. Now you can see the distance on each of the buffer zones. So you can go back to the text, adjust the font size. We want it to be bigger. Apply. That's too much. So let's say 30. Better. You can adjust the colors. You can adjust anything else. You can adjust, you can make it that the text buffers on its own. So, you can play around with all of this. You can adjust the background, shadow, and make it look more colorful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.